I had a question. Which weapon will kill Anaconda fastest? And I have chosen five fixed projectile weapons to test. First of all, I will try to kill Anaconda with Pulse Laser as a control to see how long this takes. Also, I set some rules. First of all, all weapons should have small and medium variants. All weapons should be fixed. I will not practice with any weapon. I will not deliberately hit power plant and my first successful kill will count. And I have chosen multi-cannon, cannon, fragment cannon, dumpfire missiles and railgun. So if you want to watch how fast it takes to kill an anaconda with those weapons, you will have your answer. Also, I had a question about how expensive it is to kill an anaconda. As all projectile weapons require ammunition, I was watching after each fight how many credits I need to restock ammo. And in the end of this video, I will show you all stats I have gathered from these videos, so you can make your own mind. While I was not specifically targeting any subsystem, I still managed to hit some. And I guess that's why projectile weapons are great against bigger ships. And if you start taking heavy fire, break position and change your location. Also, anacondas are very different. This one is novice, and they have different levels, different weapons. So this is only very rough overview about fixed weapons and damage done to anaconda. As you can imagine, pulse lasers is the longest video here. When you are using thermal weapons, it's best to have 4 pips, 2 weapons. And obviously you need some maneuverability, so 2 pips, 2 engines. So it took me 233 seconds to kill Anaconda with Pulse Laser. Now let's switch to cannons. And as you have guessed already, the order of weapons will be from slowest to fastest. So cannon is number 5. Let me get in good position and start shooting. Target shields are 
It took me 19 seconds from the start of this fight to get the shield down. If you are using cannons, you will be able to keep four pips in engines all time, as cannons do not require so much cooling. Try to keep as close to Anaconda as possible as projectile weapons from closer range do more damage than from distance. This anaconda is deadly with some turrets. Also as you see, small and medium class cannons have different velocity. So if enemy is moving fast and is not big enough, you will not be able to hit target with both. With cannons, I killed Anaconda in 108 seconds. And it cost me 9,432 crates. Now let's take a look at rail guns. It's number 4 in my speed and account killing. I would expect rail guns to be much better at killing big ships but it's only better than cannons. Shields can be taken down very fast. It took me 4 seconds. The problem that I see with railguns is that those weapons are the most expensive out there and they have only 31 rounds of ammo, so if you miss some or you let anaconda shield to come back on land couple times you will run out of ammo quicker than you kill anaconda With railguns you will have to keep 4 pips to weapons as well, so less pips to engines and systems. It took me 60 seconds to kill Anaconda and it still had 38% of hull. So if you will not hit any crucial module, you will have to spend even more time in killing Anaconda and there's a big risk of running out of ammo. Number 3 in my fast anaconda killing list is multi cannons. Those are cheapest projectile weapons. Have you guessed that multi cannons are better than cannons or railguns at killing anacondas? Let's get to better starting position and start firing. Multi cannons are not good against shields. It took me 15 seconds. But what they lack against shields, they compensate against hull. With multi cannons, you probably should have 3 pips to weapons, as multi cannons need some serious cooldown. It's dead. So, third place, multi cannons. Anaconda killed in 46 seconds. 
shields down in 15 seconds, and the price I paid for ammunition is 2324. So it's cheapest and one of the most effective ways of killing anything. Number 2, as you see, it's Fragment Cannon. Second place goes to Fragment Cannon. Each cannon shoots three pieces that scatter a little, so it looks very beautiful. Let's see how fast it takes this Fragment Cannon to kill an anaconda. Master Anaconda. Fragment Cannon took shields down in 8 seconds. And you can have only one pip to weapons. So you can have 4 pips in engines and 1 to system. So shield down in 8 seconds, complete kill in 41 seconds, and the price I paid for this is 9822. And the winner is Dumpfire Missiles. Three seconds to take off shield. And it took 21 seconds to kill an anaconda. So if you want the fastest way, this is it. Three seconds shield down, 21 seconds anaconda is history. But the price I paid is 46,000 and I wouldn't be able to kill another anaconda because I have not enough ammunition. And now let's take a look at numbers. And the numbers are telling us a very interesting story. So I had two main questions. What is the fastest way to kill an anaconda and how expensive that is? Answer to first question, you can see right now, dump fire missiles, 21 second. Then comes fragment cannon, multi cannon, railgun, cannon and pulse laser that I used as control. Also, while I was not deliberately targeting power plant or any other crucial systems, but I still managed to kill only two anacondas with zero hull. What about shields? Dumpfire missiles again are number one. It took three seconds to lower Anaconda shields. Railgun comes very close with four seconds, Fragment Cannon with eight, and then Pulse Laser, that is worst laser, but that's no wonder. Thermal weapons are better against shields. Multi cannon and cannon are bad at taking down shields. Now let's take a look at shots made and max ammo you have. So, fragment cannon, you will have to spend more than half your total ammo to kill an anaconda. I still had 17% of hull remaining. So if I had to kill an anaconda completely, I probably would have enough ammo. Dumpfire missiles are only projectile weapons that did the job 0% and I have spent most of my ammo, so I wouldn't be able to kill another anaconda. Railgun, I was lucky, because I hit power plant 
at 38% hull remaining and at that point I have spent 20 out of 31 ammo so probably I wouldn't even have enough ammo to kill one anaconda because most likely anaconda shields would go online and that confirms my previous finds that as with railgun setup most likely will run out of ammo before it kills anaconda. With cannons I spent around one third of my ammo so probably cannon load would be enough to kill two anacondas and if you lucky maybe even three. Now let's take a look at weapon price. So the cheapest is pulse laser obviously for small and two medium will cost you 44,000. Multi cannons come second, 114,000. Cannon third, then dump fire missiles, fragment cannons, and railgun. And now let's take a look at second my question how expensive is killing anaconda? So the cheapest obviously is pulse laser, which I use as control, and I spend zero credits as its thermal weapon. Multi cannons come second. Anaconda was killed only for 2324 credits. It's very cheap. For 114,000 you are receiving very good all-round weapon that does insane amount to hull compared to its price. Then comes cannon and fragment cannon. With those weapons one anaconda kill will cost you around 10,000. Then a railgun, weapon that I find out to be very expensive for its damage done and for ammo count. 35,000 and you have no guarantee that you can kill anaconda with 6 railguns. And the most expensive way to kill an anaconda is the fastest. 46 thousands in 21 seconds. Only keep in mind if you run out of ammo you are helpless. That's why Pulse Laser is not worst weapon. It does the least damage, but its price is very low. You can shoot unlimited time and you will never run out of ammo. In the end, let's look at power management. So Pulse Laser being thermal weapon requires 4 pips to weapons. Multi cannons, because they are shooting very fast, require at least 3 pips to weapons. Cannons do not require more than one as they are slow reloading weapon same as fragment cannon railguns also require four pips to weapons and dump fire missiles i found out to be best with two pips to weapons probably because you can fire one wave after another very fast and they are overheating more than cannons or fragment cannons all projectile weapons do their job pretty good you just need to be close and hit target and if you hit any crucial part of ship you will blow it faster. You can target specific part in left user interface panel under sub targets so you will know where exactly is power plant or cockpit or life support located. I find that multi cannon is best for its price and damage done. You will most likely have enough ammo for anything you need, unlike cannons, fragment cannons and especially railguns dumpfire missiles, which have much much higher price, but the loadout is very bad. That's it today. I hope you liked my killing anaconda video.